What's going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to another Crafted Workshop video. This is episode number eight of the Weekly Maker Roundup. Hopefully you guys have been having a good week. It's been a pretty relaxed week around here. Uh, I put out the pallet bench video on Tuesday and that's done pretty well. I was really happy with the way that turned out. Uh, I am definitely getting out of the pallet wood game but was really happy with the result of that piece. It had that really clean, modern look that I was looking for, and I especially liked the legs. That was just kind of a design I came up with at the last minute, and uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think I'll definitely be using that style of leg again, and it was also really easy to build. It was just basically a pocket hole screwed square, and uh, very simple, very sturdy, and just really clean looking. So. Really happy with the way that build came out. I'm working on next week's project, which is gonna be our first machining project. Uh, if you guys follow me on social media, you might have seen that I posted a little quick video of a knob that I had turned at the metal lathe and was really kind of happy with the design. I think I'm gonna just try to make that again, maybe make three or four of them just to kind of practice on the metal lathe. It's a whole nother world of controls and uh, RPMs and all that kind of stuff. So it's just something that it's taken me a while to wrap my head around it. And it's kind of a dangerous tool if you don't know what you're doing. So I really wanted to make sure I kind of had a good handle on it, especially before I try to teach anybody else how to use it, if that makes sense. Also, I will be headed out of town this weekend. I'm going up to Indiana to the Festool headquarters for their Festool Connect event, which I am really excited about. I do not own any Festool stuff, but I'm hoping to get some of their tools in my shop here in the near future. Uh, I have really been lusting after that domino for a while now, as you guys might know. I know I've mentioned it in this series before, uh, but I'm excited to go up and check out the headquarters and uh, the Festool Connect event just seems like a big gathering of Festool groupies and they have all kinds of presentations and stuff like that. The guys from this old house have been there in uh, years past, so just excited to see what it's all about. And then next weekend, uh, I guess the 15th, I will be headed up to WIA in the Cincinnati area. So really excited about that as well. That's just gonna be a huge learning experience for me. And I'll get to meet a lot of the guys that I watch on a day-to-day -day basis. And a lot of the guys that have taught me how to do a lot of this woodworking that I know how to do. So uh, very excited about that. If you haven't already and you're thinking about getting tickets, Time is definitely running out, so, so definitely go check that out. I think that's about it for me, so let's go ahead and get started and get into the weekly maker roundup. So first video is from Woodworking Barcelona, and this is their Scandinavian side table nightstand build. Uh, it's a three-part build. I've been following the build from the beginning and have just loved it. Really nice, clean lines. As you guys know, I'm really into the modern kind of style of furniture, and this was an awesome build. Uh, they actually turned the legs themselves. A lot of guys in these type of projects just end up buying the tapered legs, and that's a bit of cheating, I think. So really impressive to see him turn the legs and get that nice, consistent taper on all four. And the final project is just really nice looking. Definitely something that I would like to build in the future. Video number two is by Andy Rawls. It's his crafting a dovetail drawer video. Andy is somebody I stumbled upon this week. I don't know how the heck I have missed out on him, but he is making some incredible content. He's a woodworker down in Texas, uh, has a video style very unique to himself. There's no talking, no music. It's just him and his shop. Uh, he utilizes a lot of hand tools in his work and uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, definitely check him out, check out his videos, get subscribed to him. He's putting out amazing content and clearly some other people have already caught on because one of his videos I think has over a million views. So kind of crazy uh, that I have never heard of him, but. He is doing amazing, amazing work. I'd love to collaborate with him or visit his shop at some point. Seems to have an awesome style all his own. So check him out and subscribe if you do not already. Video number three is the Strange Kids Club sign by David over at Gearbox Design. So this build, I just loved. It mixed a bunch of different mediums. Uh, he cut the sign out on a CNC and cut some vinyl decals to mask off the areas around the edges of the sign. And then he painted it by hand doing this really cool gradient effect and then added some green LED lights to kind of backlight the sign. Amazing work. I would love to have a sign like that in my shop. And David is doing an awesome job. I, I don't know how he doesn't have more subscribers. If you don't already, definitely go check him out. I was really impressed. The video was great quality and just awesome project all around so definitely check him out. 
Video number four is the Figured Maple Grooved Bowl by Le Pic Bois. That is Pat Lap over there. Pat is an awesome YouTuber. His style is incredibly unique, something that is all his own. He adds all kinds of really cool effects to his videos and has crazy music and just really cool. You can tell he puts a lot of effort into his videos and just does awesome work. He's had a couple weeks off and I know I've been kind of missing his videos. So uh, definitely check his content out if you don't already. And last is the French Birdhouse build by La Fabrique DIY. This was a really cool project. They built a birdhouse in the style of the homes in the Basque region of France. Uh, little red roofs and all that kind of thing. The build was really simple. They used a lot of hand tools, very accessible for sure. Uh, but the final build was adorable. But the really cool part was that they got some awesome shots of birds on the birdhouse. So uh, I don't know how they did it. It must've taken a lot of patience. Looks like they had a GoPro set up for some of the shots, but the, the close-up shots of some of these birds was just really cool. A little National Geographic likes. The birdhouse just turned out really cute. It would be a great build to do with your kids or something like that. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more builds from this channel. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment letting us know what you liked about it. Also, if you don't already, go ahead and get subscribed. I have new project videos every Tuesday and these weekly Maker Roundups every Thursday. And last, if you want to support me a little further and see some kind of behind the scenes content, check me out on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash craftedworkshop. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. And until next time, happy building.